Yes, I know that the video isn't on time, but here we are. I'm gonna talk about Rayman. I was thinking of video ideas, and this is what I came to because after, especially after yesterday, I played him in my Gauntlet to Diamond. I figured I have some, I don't know, I have some takes on Rayman that I just kind of want to talk about and basically go over. So Rayman's a legend that I've never really messed too much with, and it's kind of. It's kind of one that I'm, it's becoming harder to ignore. Rayman has received, and on release, he was already good. He's only received buffs, I'm pretty sure, in his lifetime. I don't think he's ever been nerfed whatsoever. And that already is like, you know, that's a testament. Sure, there are other legends that have had nothing but buffs. Uh, I can't think of one off the top of my head. I feel like Dusk is a good example, and Dusk is still kind of cheeks, right? Dusk isn't, Dusk isn't anything special when it comes to his sigs. I mean, they're not bad, but don't get me wrong. Like, they weren't... It's not like they were crazy right off the start like Rayman's were. And then Rayman sigs proceeded to get buffed, which were already crazy. Some notable ones. The Axe Side sig. Now, this is, this is a while ago. This is probably old news. But I think people tend to forget just how good this character actually is. Um, there's a lot you can be doing with him. I mean, I said it yesterday... The best example of a good Rayman player, or of good Rayman play, is Pierre. Right there, D Sig. Uh, yeah, he's very, very good with it. There's certain things you can like abuse on Rayman, I would say, such as the fact that he can get like dummy long charge range. Like, I'm pretty sure that's the short, shortest time to get that. Let's see if I can get him. He's dead. No way, he makes it back. Yeah, he doesn't make it back. But. There's like a specific time, and I think I'm, I may even be charging it too long, but this, that is really, really good. Same thing with Ensig. Like, the fact that you can get like that max range is really, really good. His SIGs in general are all very quick. He's pretty much the most mobile gauntlet and axe character. At the very least, he's the most mobile axe character. That's not even like contested. I mean, the next best would have to be what? <laughs> Volkov? Like, Volkov's got, like, side sig that can move him around. I mean, D or N sig moves him around a bit. Uh, I don't think there's really anyone else who's even close to the level of mobility that Rayman has, which is such a big plus. I want to try and hit him with, like, D-Light N sig, which is a thing, by the way. It doesn't make much sense to do it right now because, like, Gauntlet D-Light Wreck is true, and I don't know how much earlier it's going to be killing, but it's kind of a cool thing. Well, if it, you know, doesn't roll back. Nice. That was a weird clash. You know, let's get Axe. I want Axe. This guy is going to try so hard to guard me. This Sig, by the way, is just... It's disgusting. It's its so good. Uh, it's hard to really... Until you get hit by it, you don't really understand. Like, to a lot of people, I feel like this Sig just looks like... Oh, yeah. I mean, that Sig's like whatever, right? It doesn't really... It doesn't really look any different from, like, a Taros end sig or something like that. Well, it doesn't have the stun frames, but it's going to have the force. It has way more speed. Uh, it's just very, very, very good. Before I go on, I want to talk about the stats, too. You can, like, look at the stats first of all. 5-5, five, five, then 6-6. Six, six. That's reverse Bodvar. That's pretty crazy, considering... You can make him have 7 speed and 4 dex. And like I said, I've said this before, Gauntlets, you're not going to notice anything on dex. And then Axe, I really don't think you're going to notice much too. I mean, I'm no dedicated Axe main, but I think that is really, really, really good. Yo, the guy got the new, uh, new taunt. The patch came out yesterday. And you know what rotated out along with the patch coming in? The Gala Colors. I... Man, I'm just, I'm heartbroken, to say the least. I didn't get all the Gala colors. I was literally even going to buy Mammoth Coins, and I didn't. I didn't have enough time to do that. I didn't know they were leaving tomorrow, and uh, yeah, that hurts the soul for sure, because now I don't know how long I'm going to have to wait to get those again, if I'll even be able to get them again. They might come back sooner than later. I think they will, because your rewards are a thing. But you think about the Charged OG color, for example. That didn't come back till like a year and a half later. So I'll, you know, whatever. I only use like white and red as my color schemes. But I think as far as the important characters go, I did get them gala. Uh, to be fair, I, I mean, at this point, I don't know what characters I was missing. I was missing like a whole page. I think the last legend I got 
was actually... Who was it? It was the hatch? Yikes. That doesn't kill, though. Yep. I don't know if they nerfed the force on that for fate. I feel like they might have. What is he going to do? Nothing. True combo. That's so good. Dude, just everything about this character, when it comes to the axes especially, it's just... I think it's just really, really good. That guy actually... Hit. That was an insane dodge by that guy. I mean, he... He pretty much knew I was going to do it. I think once he saw I did a grab to cancel, he knew it was coming. That's like a Rayman staple. It's pretty hard to punish, but if you're ready for it, I mean... If you're ready for anything in this game, then it becomes a lot harder to actually hit. This guy's... This guy's going off. I'm going to hit him with it. I 100% could have. Doesn't matter. Gauntlets in their prime. All right. Mm. You know what? Let's rock it. Oh, yeah, this Zig, by the way, really good for... Okay, I was just demonstrating something. What is this guy doing? I was just showing... You, you can get back to the stage with that Zig really, really easily. It looks pretty punishable from the top. I'll let, tell you now, it is not. So, if you're going to punish it, I mean, probably wait. It's hard to say. I want to say wait and let them get the wall touch and then hit them. Only really do that if you know you're going get to the, get the kill. Otherwise, I would probably say... I don't, I don't know. What's the best way to punish that? I feel like it's just time. Like you, it's hard. It seriously is hard because like you're gonna get hit by the axe swing that he does, like a 360. If you try and do like a ground pound, at least for some weapons. Some, some weapons it's probably gonna be fine. Others it probably won't. I don't know which will and which won't work there. But what usually happens for me is if I know they're gonna do it, I try and time it uh, while I can catch them, like midway. Excuse me. Or, there we go. That was, that was actually brainless. Or, you just let them touch and then you just kind of repeat the cycle. But I think if you can, just try and like intercept them. It's hard, but at the same time, it's definitely doable. By the way, I'll touch on this for just a second. Rayman's skins are actually all pretty good. I think Rayman is a character. He, how many skins does he have actually? He only has three skins, I think. They, they, they're kind of doing him dirty for a character. I mean, maybe it's because he's, like, one of Ubisoft's characters. They kind of have to be wary, and they can't get the skins as easy for him. But, um, I don't know. It's just, like, I feel like a lot of opportunity is awaiting for Rayman skins. That's for sure. And the ones that, like I said, the ones that are there, I think, are really, really good. But we'll see. He has to be a legend that hasn't gotten a skin in a while, right? Like, there's, there's a couple legends that we're waiting for a while. I think Scarlet was a big one. And then Scarlet got Scarlet got it. Oh no. I live. Yeah. Scarlet got a skin recently. That is really good by the way. And Rayman Rayman's just been chilling. He's got his three. He's got Sir what Sir Ray a lot. The little knight skin. That's probably my least favorite. I like the like evil Rayman. I never played a Rayman game, so I don't know if like any of these actually hold relevance. The the Raid Var is really good. That definitely would be the skin I would get. Um, that or, like, the evil one. One of the two. The Raylot, though. Raylot, to me, is that skin where it's like, oh, yeah, I want to I wanna use a different... I want to use a skin that no one's using, you know? I want to be I want to be different from everyone else. That type of mentality. I feel like people who bought that have that. Which is fine. I mean, I've done that with, like, the Hyena Mordex. Now, I don't even think the Hyena Mordex is that bad. And I don't think that the Raylot skin's that bad. Uh, I would just say... That, you know, there's an obvious mentality because I feel like the Ray a lot skin is the one people are using the least. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe it's the raid bar, but I feel like the Bodvar one has to be the most popular. I like how probably the, the best explanation I gave with this character had to do with the skins. Uh, I always have my priorities straight. Mm, he wasn't ready. He tried it. He tried to beat me out with his sig. Hilarious. Guys, this sig is just... You want to see an atrocity? Ready? Oh, well, that, that was pretty bad. Gadgets in game. Look how far I went. I didn't use any options. I just straight up... No options used there. Oh, and he just took my life. But it's uh, that's a really good way to get back. Or, well, to like extend, I guess, if you, know, you need to. Come on. This guy... Wow. I, I gotta admit, this guy is not giving up. Now... He should give up, because that was... That was sad. Mm -hmm. Bang, bang. A little 360. My axe is pretty cheeks. So, I think my axe is 
one of my weapons alongside like hammer bow i could really work on that uh but i don't know there's not too many axe characters i'm like keen on playing i think the biggest one would be ragnir and at this point ragnir or rayman are probably the go-to's oh wow that didn't hit true combo i remember when that combo was considered so hard oh here we go yeah he's not living and under any circumstance is he gonna live from that that sig is so broken it i can't i can't stress enough how broken that sig is and you guys probably know so i'm probably just beating a dead horse at this point but that thing needs a nerf and it probably won't get nerfed next patch all right we end off fighting a ragnir how ironic right as i get done talking about it that actually looks really good by the way that's what that's in, that has to be in synth wave that skin ashen ragnir has such good color swaps all right what are we gonna do we're gonna do that i think i i think a big thing for my axe is i need to use delight more delight's really good super good anti-air i think that's why cody cody travis is uh really good with axe he makes uh, first of all he's just you know insane at Barraza period uh and he can really incorporate six well but i think his use of axe delight is pretty unparalleled compared to most other axe players like he he will hit every axe delight in the world especially if he's like feeling it what's this guy doing no yeah i don't know that's okay i think like i said i think raymond's a very mobile character i think his side sig and his d sig are really really good for like going for ko's and stuff the end sig sometimes to me and this is probably because i'm no expert rayman player um oh come on hold that thought i want to side sig you there it is it doesn't do a ton of force but like i said it's just so fast also that's like a free edge guard the triple what are these do these have like faces on them yeah they're like boxing gloves with faces what was i saying though um uh oh yeah the nsig don't know really how to kill with it it's good for getting back to stage uh it has the force for sure i mean in team combos and stuff you're probably going to be able to use that like really really well but jump another jump this is where i delight nope shouldn't have gc'd it yep this character would be really really good to play with cody i think double axe especially since axe right now is considered to not be i don't know if you know i have no idea what they're buffing or nerfing i'll just get that out of the way and the patch that's like in january i think the balance pass but i feel though it's the end he's gonna do a sig it's like bound to happen no okay well yeah i uh i called it out i decided to go back off stage i'm a genius but i think that i think that axe might receive something i wouldn't be surprised if it didn't though i think axe is fine i think it's great in twos i think in ones it's uh it gets the job done i don't think it has anything super special about it but you know has like it has really good oh i barely missed i hate axe didos there we go i think it has good kill potential damage build up like there's nothing blatantly weak that seems undeserving i guess if that makes sense like it's slow it's axe that makes sense um yeah almost i almost could have gotten like an insane string he's gonna just be waiting okay well okay what here we go rayman specialty rayman specialty weapon throw no way no way that just happened to me well i am uh too tilted now to do any more games and i shouldn't have you know i should have just held on to gauntlets i hate dude why how why why out of all things that happened that had to happen to end the video it is what it is i'm not gonna harp on it too much i mean it's something to laugh about i guess for me cry about but thank you guys for watching and uh i'll see you in the next one peace